Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to another Shino uh, Project Shinobi episode. And as you can see, frame and swing arm are back from the blasters and look at them. I mean, look how clean they look. They look absolutely lovely. Um, with all the paint removed, um, down to the bare aluminium, we can see um, where all the damage is uh, that we need to fix. Now, on the frame itself, we had this dink on the, uh, on the left hand frame spar and just here, I'm not sure if it's going to show up on the camera or not, but those, there's two little tiny little nicks just there. I think they're showing up. That just needs smoothing over. And obviously, as I said, that one there. On the swing arm, there's a dent here where it looks like the bike's been down at some point, And then the, uh, the rear set on the right hand side has, uh, yeah, right hand side has been pushed in and it's dinked the uh, swing arm. Just here, there was also a, um, it was like a gouge basically and it was sitting proud so what i've done i've just dressed it back with a file and what's left just needs filling in now what i'm going to do to fill this is i'm going to use jb weld um this is uh it's, it's like steel based it's like a steel based epoxy um fairly uh fairly useful for for a multitude of different things now as you can see this is uh, this is not a brand new pack i've um, used this for other things in the past um, but i am confident that i will be able to use that to fix this uh, damage um, and then once powder coated you never even know um, so yeah i'm uh, i'm hoping that it'll uh, it'll be good um, this stuff um, obviously powder coating requires baking in an oven this stuff once set um, is good for up to 300 300 degrees centigrade or or i think it's just shy of 300 uh, i think it's yeah 550 fahrenheit which is something like 289 centigrade or something 290 centigrade uh, anyway um i've never used this stuff for this purpose before so i don't know if it's going to be perfect i don't know how it's going to work out but we can but try uh, at the end of the day ZX9R frames and swing arms are, are, you know, I can get a brand, well not a brand new one, but I can get a replacement one with no dents in it for probably 150 quid um, with a, you know, with a V5. Um, so if it didn't work out, I'll just get another one. Um, but it would be nice to retain this um, uh, for use, especially as I've already blasted it. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Blasters fitted this these rags in to uh, prevent as much of the um, blasting media going into here as they could. Um, they haven't blasted, obviously. That's just what's leaked in past. Um, because obviously bearings go in there, and we don't want uh, we don't want to damage that surface really. Um, but now they've done a they've done a decent job there. Okay, so. On the swing, we'll start with the swing arm first because the the, the process for the um, process for the frame is going to be exactly the same. On this side, we've got that little dink there, and I've just re remembered there's these um, the scratch here that does need rubbing back as well. Um, I remember that being in the paint, um, so uh, yeah, I um, I want to make sure that we uh, remember that because I mean it might, that might not actually show up in the powder coat, but obviously I want to I want to uh, be certain. I'm actually leaving dirty marks all over this one just from dirty hands. Um, right, what we want to do is mix some of this. I'm going to mix it in small quantities. Um, I'm fairly confident. I mean, these aren't full. Um, I'm pr that's probably enough to do the job that we want to that we want to do. Though um, I'm going to mix it in very small quantities and then just apply it in small layers. And then obviously I'll bit, let it set, build it up, let it set, build it up, and then at the end I can just rub it back and hopefully it will leave a nice smooth finish ready for the powder coat and um yeah it'll be uh, it'll all be good so i'll start off with a a small amount to start with um just equal amounts of each of the products both this this one's labeled steel and this one's labeled hardener equal amounts obviously the more hardener we use the uh the quicker it will go off so we don't want to go too mad 
um, but that will do nicely and then give it a mix now as I said before I've used this product before but I've never used it to repair a frame in this manner um, what we're doing here is just mixing it to get rid of any streaks and it will already be going off and then all I'm going to do is apply it to the swing arm to fill in the gold the the you know the the pits and the troughs so to speak obviously if I put too much on I'm gonna have more rubbing down to do so I don't want to go too crazy um, but when it comes to the rubbing down process I may well find that there's air bubbles and what have you in it anyway um, that need refilling so I may have to uh, apply some more Um, this is quite a wide area, although the dent look quite small, it's actually quite a wide area. So what I think I will do with this bit is let this set for a little while and then come back over with, with a bit more to build it up because otherwise um, it's just not going to, I'm not going to get the, uh, the correct application. So I don't want to pile too much on in one go and have to you know rectify it later so here is my little scratch and i think this is gonna do the job perfectly to be honest i don't think we're gonna have any dramas here whatsoever So as I said, this little bit here, I'm going to let that set and go off. Um, I can already see that it's still going in, so it's going to need a little bit more applying um, before that's ready to uh, before that's ready to go. Um, but this stuff goes off in about an hour, um, and I think it's I think it's actually sandable within about an hour. Um, but um, obviously, full hardness is like 24 hours. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave that for now. Uh, I'll do the uh, I'll do the frame, and then um, once I, once I've applied um, all the JB Weld to each of the uh, repair areas, we'll I'll bring it back in and we'll uh, we'll have a look at what I've done. Right, I've applied uh, I've applied JB Weld to the two little dings on the uh, on the frame. Um, as you can see, obviously it's still. A little bit uh, a little bit low so it, this is going to be a case of letting this set build it up letting it set build it up letting it set build it up and the same with this part here so this is obviously going to be a fairly uh, laborious process and quite um, it's going to take a little bit of time so what I'm going to do continue with this um, I will then rub it down um, once I've rubbed it down I'm obviously I'm not going to film rubbing it down it's 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 sanding at the end of the day um, it's uh, it's probably not the most interesting of things, um, but once I've um, once I've rubbed it down, I've got it nice and smooth. I'll um, we'll obviously revisit um, and uh, and have a look at what I've uh, what I've achieved. Now, obviously, I will make that um, the part of this episode. So, um, obviously, with the magic of video, um, this is probably going to take me a couple of weeks to achieve. However, you guys are going to get to see that all in this episode. Um, so, um, obviously. I will uh, I will crack on with that and I'll see you guys very very soon. Right, here we go. As you can see um, on the frame and the swing arm, I've uh, sanded them down. They've come out quite nice and it, it feels really smooth. I can't feel the transition between the metal of the swing arm and the filler. In fact, if I close my eyes and just rub my fingers over doesn't feel any different to the rest of the swing arm at all which is obviously what we need the only thing is uh, just here you can see there's a couple of little tiny uh, you know like little tiny little pinholes um, which do need filling I can feel them but obviously the the edges of it, it, it you know it's blending perfectly in with the metal so I'm really really pleased with the way it's turned out and likewise this scratch um, again that's that's completely smooth as well over here, um, this is where there was the uh, the, the the very minor dent, um, 
and again that's all been blended in a couple of little pins that i'm going to fix and again up here this was quite a quite a significant dent um but it was actually hidden by the fairing and i didn't see it um until obviously we took the fairings off but again it's um it's, it's it feels lovely um the transitions between the filler and the and the frame feel good again just a couple of little pinholes to fix um and yeah we should be there so um what i'm going to do i'm going to fix these uh these little pinholes i've got some uh jb weld already out on my mixing board not too much this is literally just going to be a little dab in the in the little pinholes just like so And all I'll do, I'll do this, sand them back, and I'll just keep doing it until such time as I'm happy. Um, as I said earlier, I've never done this before. Um, this is a novel, a novelty for me. I've never done it. If it don't work out, it don't work out, but I think it's gonna. Now, obviously, all I need this to do is um, be invisible once the powder coat's over the top. Um, as long as I can't see it through the powder coat, then I'm gonna be happy as I can be um, and hopefully it'll work out um, yeah so so down here just a few little pinholes just to fill in I think that's about it yeah It's little there's a little tiny scratch just here which I did fill in before but I didn't quite put enough in it I can still feel it so I'm gonna do the same with that and once sanded back that should be hopefully invisible so there we go that that's where we are so far now it's taken me a week or so to actually get to this point since you last saw me um, talking about this um, I've been coming back to it and coming back to it adding JB world you can actually see the different you can see the layers where I've layered it up um, it's like like the rings in a tree that and the same up here you can see you can see the layers where I've had to layer it up because if I put it on too quickly it wouldn't have set correctly um, and obviously I'd probably end up with loads of um, loads of loads of uh, big uh, big bubbles inside it perhaps um, if, if I'd have done that so yeah, I've just taken my time, build it up gradually as I go, and uh, yeah. So the hope is, I mean, the hope is that you know it'll be an invisible repair once the powder coat's gone over the top, and um, I think I think we're well on our way to achieving that. So uh, yeah, I'll let this set, rub it back, and then I'll bring you in, and uh, we'll have a look at it um, once it's uh, once it's basically ready to go to powder coat. So yeah, let's get me. Uh, Bench tied it up, get rid of all this dust, let this set. All right then guys, um, I think, I think I'm there. Um, that feels really nice and these scratches down here, can't feel any raised bits, any dips or anything. It feels completely smooth and likewise up here feels, you know, exactly the same. So that's the swing arm there and look at the frame and likewise as you can see the edges of the JB uh, the JB welder are nicely feathered into the the surrounding aluminium and if I rub my, f my fingers over it I, I cannot feel any I cannot feel any difference at all it is it's as if it was always there do you know um, so I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out and likewise up here this uh, this dink which was obviously on this on this crease uh, well on this fold in the in the frame spar um, I think looking at it I think I've got the the profile right and there was a little dent uh, like a little just a little hole there which I could feel earlier on when I was um, you know when I was rubbing my hand across so again that little pinhole has been filled in and, and the same there so yeah I'm actually really really pleased with the way this has turned out Will it show up underneath the powder coat? Absolutely no idea. As I said at the beginning of this video, I've never done this before. So this is a complete trial and error. Um, 
if it doesn't turn out to be the way I want it to be, as good as I want it to be, then obviously I'll have to uh, come up with a new plan. But um, I think we might be okay. Now, obviously, this hasn't got to, this hasn't been the most exciting video. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really want to film me sitting here sanding with my mask on and all that sort of stuff because it'd be pretty boring. Um, so, obviously, what I did was I, I've developed this in stages so you can see how I've done it as I've done it. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully that will turn out okay and we'll have a perfectly good frame. Uh, and once powder coated, it will be uh, it will be invisible. Anyway, guys, I, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, because I think uh, I think we've laboured this laboured this point enough, and uh, obviously I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye now.